Right. Somebody's been nagging me on YouTube to build a V8 version of this engine. Oh my, I need a longer fan belt there for that, but... So there you go, well, that's going to go that way. So there we have it. There's the four cylinder, the solar powered four cylinder. Unfortunately, being powered by the sun means it has to be in the sun, which is not good for the camera. But, uh, let me. Thanks to the capacitor, it will run for a little while in the uh, ordinate without the sun. So let's put it down here. A radiator, of course, the solar panels. I might be able to arrange some sunshine on it, so let's put it there. There. So, story so far. Timing gear, crank pulley, and down there is a gear shifter. No, how's that look a lot? Well, there's still a bit of charge in the capacitor to keep it going. I'll put the gear side into the sun. So, where's the gear lever? Low gear, high gear. Low gear. I gear. I'm really struggling to get it to show up in the uh the capacitors and capacitors losing power so I need to put it back. We've got a weight on it so I can balance on the edge there. Low gear, low gear, I gear, low gear, I gear. Little gear stick at the back there. Now, somebody's been really nagging me to build a V8 engine. So, this is a V6 made up of a clockwork motor winding up. Wind it up. And here's a V8 made from the uh, green guides out of the roller, rollerball kit, I think, which look kind of V8 profile, though you can't see them in there. Oops, air filter's fallen off. Now, somebody has been really nagging me on YouTube to build a V8 version of the four cylinder, and here it is. There we go, we're running. connection on the motor. Let's try and see if I can improve the light by getting the direct sun off it. There's a bad connection down there to show you. Let's see if I can fix that. There. Built as a cutaway so hopefully you can see better how it's built. But there it is running. Valve gear is exactly the same as the other one except there's two of them. And uh, the cog, the end cog and one valve gear drives the other valve gear in the opposite direction. That's bad connection plugging it again, come on, that's better, come on, go. I'm sitting in this. Now it's all running. Got four camshafts, there's one of them there. Uh, two red rods connected there. A tooth for the two cylinder ver a full V4 version. You'd only have one grey rod, which I've done there. And I've left the rockers and the cams off this side so you can see better how the cylinders are made. That's a spark plug. And it's held in with a little pink axle clip inside there. There's a crankshaft. One of the pistons is connected directly to it with a dark blue rod. The other has a hinge piece and a white rod and a very short connector so it can flex, so it can fit on the same crank. And uh, same that side. Here's your valve here. 
exactly the same valve gear as that engine there. But again, because of the sunlight, it's difficult to see. So there it is. But from this side, it does just look like a V8 engine. For the other side, it's not complete. And you see there's again, there's a cylinder missing to give you a better view into the innards. There's the torque cylinder again. I've got yet got around to putting a radiator fan on it, but that could be put in there somewhere. I need to build a mounting for a radiator fan, perhaps a fake alternator. But, uh, the timing gear is driven by one cogwheel, exactly the same as that one. But then the other set of timing gear is driven off the first set of timing gear there. It spins in opposite direction, so the camshafts need to be mirror image of each, images of each other to get the timing right. You could possibly offset those gears, but I have two cogs down there on the, on the crankshaft. We drive two separate sets of uh, camshaft cogs to uh, get them all going the same direction. Probably look a bit better. And uh, but there you have it. Uh, v8. It's a V8 version of the uh, four-cylinder. Quite dramatic, really. There's all the pistons going up and down, you can see through that cog wheel. Middle two move in the opposite direction of the outer two to keep the engine balanced. Two little solar panels there, charging uh, a Connects battery pack. I've wired them in myself, but that's what keeps it all running. And there you have it, one uh, one Connects engine. There. And I don't know whether the battery is going flat or whether it's running bad connection or both, but it does appear to be slowing down. If you want to build one, pause the video at the bits you need to focus on and uh, just copy what I've done here. I hope it comes out well enough for you to make sense of what's going on, but uh, if, if it doesn't work, just improvise. If you can't see what it's what I've done, just improvise. Yep, it's run out of grunt. So uh, let's turn it off. And. Uh, that one has got better solar panels, it such seems to more more exposed solar panels, it seems to be quite happy to trundle over. And uh let's see if we have better view whoops, tip it over. There's a crank shaft there. The little draw in the shaft is uh, a dark blue rod with uh, two grey pieces on. And then this just flots, slots on there. That 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 floats loose on there. It's not actually clipped on anything. And same with the other end. And it's a yellow rod at the other end. And the same here. Same thing again. As you say, I've got the patience to do a sequence step by step build it video. So. You'll just, the best way is just to pause this video when you're studying any part of it. Like there's a cylinder head, spark plug, there's an axle clip in there somewhere. Pink one. You see there's two grey pieces there and there. Not in the middle because they'd clash. And that is your, that's your rocker shaft. 